welcome to my review of Primeval Series 2, Episode 7. So, we reached the seventh and final episode in the second series of Primeval. Um, so, basically, it continues right where Episode 6 left off. Um, Cutter, Jenny, Connor, Abby, and Caroline have been captured, and Leek has has been keeping all of the creatures um, in his facility, and he um, unleash, unleashes them into this big rampage, and the team have to, well, stop the creatures before they rampage throughout the, um, the rest of the world. Um, meanwhile, um, Helen calls Stephen and basically says um, says to him that she she lies to him. She says she's been captured by Lester and his people, and uh, all the others are dead. And so Stephen makes a desperate attempt to, um, you know, rescue Helen and, and whatnot. And it goes on from there. Um, there's also a sequence with Silurian scorpions and. Leak is tightening the grip. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, Series 2, Episode 7. The final episode of this series. And i got to say, it's fantastic. It's brilliant. I mean, I, I loved this episode. It was so good. I mean, there's... Um, there's the you know there are a few th you know you know there are rare you know there are some great finales to Primeval's to the end of the series of Primeval but um, I think this one could be the best finale. Episode seven is epic. It's it's epic. It's really good. Um, it's one of my favourites. I mean you have all of these creatures so. Essentially, this episode, more than any of the others, is the most blockbustery of the episodes. Um, but that's what I love about it. It takes, it has the balls, it takes the risks. Um, it's written well enough. It's written well. Um, so yeah, I, I really like, I really like the way it's written. Um, it's quite funny at the beginning um, when Connor um, says. Caroline, leave her out, leave her out of it, she has nothing to do with it, but obviously Connor, being a little bit thick, doesn't realise that Caroline's one of the main culprits. Um, uh, you know, the characters are really good here, um, I mean, they've already sort of been developed over the series, but this, this is, uh, it's, uh, it's really nice to see these moments, like, the scenes between Nick and Helen as well, um, and Leek, it's like, um, it's interesting, like, Leek just wants to be, like, in charge. He doesn't want to be belittled anymore. And, uh, you, you can see that sort of frustration within Leek the whole time. Um, yeah, and I think, I think, um, his, his plans are really cool. Although, I have to say, one thing that I do find annoying is his death. Leek does die in this episode. Um, the future predators kill him. I mean, it's kind of funny. Um, but it's just like... Why would you stand there? You wouldn't make an attempt to run away. Like Leek just stands there waiting for the future predators to attack him. When, in all honesty, um, he should just try and run away. Otherwise, what? What? What's the point? You know, <laughs> what's the point? Um, I think um, Douglas Henshaw was great here, isn't it, Cutter? Um, one of my other criticisms is that you don't really see much of Jenny. Connor and Abby, they're in the beginning, but then the second half is more about sort of um, Helen and Nick and Stephen. Um, Stephen has a good involvement in this episode. The sequence with at the beach with the Silurian Scorpion is, is really good. Um, I really like that. That's a that's a really entertaining sequence, I and mean, he just says on the phone, "Come and get it when you're ready." This episode has a great amount of action and thrills. Um, you know, you're seeing all these creatures there. And when Abby tries to um, tame the Smilodon, so to speak, uh, tame the Smilodon, uh, it's, it's a really great sequence to watch. Um, it gets really intense as well. Um, Lester calls upon Stephen as a last resort. Is like, well, right now there's nobody else I can I can turn to. We need you, Stephen. Uh, and I really like 
James Murray is Stephen here. He's he's very good. Although, um, yeah, it is it is quite sad at the end of the series. I mean, this is the big, this is the climax of series two, and the end of series two, Stephen does die, and it's a shame. It's real. It's a really sad se sequence. I mean, I was never the biggest fan of Stephen, but um, I I never hated him, uh, and I certainly didn't want him to die. Uh, <laughs> But um, I think it was the right time for him to go. Um, he finally realised how much of a bitch Helen was, and how you know cause she lied to him about her capture. Um, where and Nick said, "Remember, Lester's not the enemy." Um, as much as Nick doesn't like Lester, Lester isn't the enemy. Um, so it's interesting to see how Stephen makes a brave move in sacrificing himself, and that is a key thing here. Um, Stephen's sacrifice is quite powerful. It is very well done. Uh, it's some of those things. It's, it's basically, I suppose, his way of saying sorry. It's like, hey, I'm sorry. I was a bit of a dig, but um, all in all, you're my friend, so I'm going to do this for you. So Stephen realizes he's he's got nothing else to lose in his life. He's got so he he, he makes the ultimate sacrifice, and it's a very powerful scene. He's just. <coughs> He's walking. He's walking his way back into the uh, the kind of the laser cages, and all the creatures are gathering around him, um, and they eat him. It's really quite sad. And then obviously they see, you know, we see his funeral as well, which is the last scene of the of the series. Um, it's a great way to end as well because they're not copying series one because series one ended with um, that huge cliffhanger. Um, but no, this is a really poignant ending, it's like a real emotional, cuts right through to the heart, um, ending. And it's really wonderful to see the actors give it their all. I mean, I think James Murray is actually quite decent in this episode. Um, when, I mean, he was never brilliant, but, um, he's decent enough in this episode. Uh, I like Andrew Lee Potts, Hannah Spirit, Lucy Brown. Douglas Henshaw is really good here. Um, the guy that plays Leek is good too. Although it is kind of funny when he says, you know, you do not give me orders. No one does. Um, the visuals and CGI are just, just absolutely incredible. I believe this is like one of the only episodes where you don't actually see an anomaly. Like you see all the creatures and stuff, but there are no anomalies in this episode, which is interesting. Um, and all the creatures look really great. I mean, this obviously is... This episode is like the most the most blockbustery out of all of them um, because there's so many creatures and there's a lot of CGI that they've used and it's great to watch it is really great to watch um, as for problems like I said Leek's death is a bit of a problem but um, the music is fantastic and they play the track called Tom Dies uh, for Stephen's funeral which is really nice um, whether James Murray decided to leave or not, I don't know, or whether he just was written out, I don't know, but whatever the circumstance, it doesn't change the fact that the episode is really poignant, and also, I like how Caroline, kind of, we see the true colours of Caroline, she's not, she's not completely a bitch, she admits her wrongdoing, and she says, I was greedy and stupid, and I'm sorry, um, she just wanted the money, um, but, um, it's, and the, she has a fight with Abby as well, which is interesting, also, um, when Connor says, leave Caroline out of it, she's got nothing to do with it. And then the line which completely sums up Connor, I agree with X-Files Hacker, is, um, you know, for somebody so smart, you can be amazingly thick sometimes. Which is which has always really made me laugh. Um, <clears throat> Connor doesn't actually realise what Caroline has done <coughs> until um, it's pointed out to him. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, so that's quite fun. Um, yeah... And, yeah, that moment at the funeral where she says, I'm sorry, um, and then Connor just says nothing. I just like that. He, he It's almost like he just wants to forget about her, um, which is, a, I suppose, a good thing, really. Um, but, yeah, no, it's a really good episode. It is brilliant. It is a brilliant finale, really intense, really engaging. And the scene when Cutter's in the prison... Um, and he's talking to Jenny. Uh, he knows that they're all listening in and whatnot. Um, and basically, uh, yeah, he lies about being in love with Helen. 
he used that to basically weasel his way out of prison. <laughs> um, yeah, there are some really great dramatic scenes here. It's just an epic finale. It's a great ending. It's one of my favourite episodes of the show, I think. Um, Lucy Brown's good as Jenny. I like how she's actually using a gun in this episode, which is quite interesting. It was a bit ironic even for her. Um, it's paced really well. Um, Lester doesn't get much to do, which is a shame, but, I mean, to be honest, there's not much he could do. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this is, this is a great episode, and it's a really fitting finale to a great series of Primeval. Uh, so I am going to give this one a 10 out of 10. done it was done as well as it could have been so yeah I I give them credit for that but um, yeah that's all I have to say about episode 7 of series 2 uh, what do you think of it uh, do you agree do you disagree comment down below let me know and as always I'm Mr. Titus 11 thank you for watching and see ya